up your YouTube, search for Stupid Meadows, watch on your big screen. Or another device if you're at home. Get yourself comfy, this could take a while. What a happy scene. Something new every day for your long term memory. This is so exciting, it is nearly time for a stupidly assembly. Good afternoon, good evening, or good night, and welcome to Friday's Retrieval Assembly. Now listen up, everyone. <clears throat> Frog in the throat there. Listen up, everyone. This is our last ever, hopefully, Retrieval Assembly. Wah. I'm not gonna finish the sentence there, cheeky. This is the last ever Retrieval Assembly in remote learning and in school learning. The next time you see a retrieval assembly, which will be next Friday, we are all back in school! So this is the last time we're doing a retrieval assembly, hopefully ever, with lots of you at home remote learning and lots of you in school. Oh, it feels great. Anyway, let's kick off with our values and our strap lines and then let's get stuck in. For each other we, every day we, to improve we, together we will, every single Stukely day we focus on. Our Stukely motto is, our Stukely curriculum is, our every day, whoa, our every, our everyday plan for in school and remote learning is, and four words that make the magic happen. You can tell I'm, I'm losing it more than normal. Okay, everyone, it's going to, it's going to be a great assembly today. Um, you know how retrieval works. We get ready for it. We do a quick intro. We go foundation one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got 36 seconds. Shout outs. Most important 60 seconds. Come on! It's going to be brilliant. Right. Whew. It's time to get ready. Last week, this worked a treat. Here we go. Hang on, where's the sombrero? Okay, let's try something different. Ah! Hang on, that's not the right sombrero. This is the one that Mrs. Cooper wore. Do you remember when we did the phone calls for staff? Phone calls for staff. Um, he's ringing up staff. To Mrs. Cooper said, could she wear a sombrero every day for gate duty? I said, yeah. Oh well, it'll have to do. Right, I was gonna go and get my learning log, but I think we can make this work. Here we go. Oh, oh come on! And a pen. Okay, Woo, this is great. I knew this would be this great in our last one remote learning. Someone's only gone and filled it in, come on! Right, we're on page 57. We're on page 57 and you need to go 654321. If you're in foundation, you might want to do this by talking. 
I'm putting sentences together. Year one to six, you should have your numbers. One to six, five, four, three, two, one, page 57. Whew. Honestly, this is incredible. Right, everyone. I'm ready for a bit of evil can evil retrieval, whatever that actually means. We've got learning logs ready. Now let's have a quick chat about retrieval and then we're straight into year groups. Right, everybody, you know how this works. I'm now gonna read out questions for foundation stage. Year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, year six. Choose the year group that you want. Uh, there's a list down here and you can also click on this bar at the bottom. You don't just have to do your year groups, you can do others, but stick with yours, start with yours. Uh, write neatly, use your Stukely script, and next week when we do this, you're all back gloriously in school. Enjoy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hi, Foundation Stage. If you've got your learning logs, get ready. If you're not doing learning logs and just talking to families or teachers, great. Right, here we go. Question number one. Can you read these words? I think they're tricky troll words. Can you read them? Breathing quite heavily. Well done. Number two, foundation stage. Can you say or write down a word that's got the I sound in it? Now, the I sound, I think it's the I, G, H, uh, phoneme, grapheme. It's that one. I haven't, oh, I should have written it down. Can you write down or say a word with the I phoneme in it? After you've done that, can you write down a word? with the O sound in, and that's an O and an A. Two letters, one sound, I think that's what you say, okay? I and O, off you go, foundation. Any words with those? Question number three, <gasps> our dear zoo story. I know how I went into foundation stage yesterday, saw some brilliant story maps. In our dear zoo story, which animal was too scary? Write it down or talk about it at home and in school. Question number four. In Dear Zoo, which animal did they keep? Write it down. Well done, Foundation. In Year 5. Now, last week, we got some 3D shapes out. Do you remember we had a cuboid? Or was it a cube? I think we had a cuboid last week. Now, how many straight edges? How many straight edges does a cuboid have? Can you write it down? Interesting. And last one, question number six. I'm going to show you some glasses of water. I'm going to show you some containers of water. You need to tell me, are they empty, nearly full, or full? So those are the three descriptions. Uh, Empty, nearly full, or full? Here's the first one. Now look at that one. Is it empty, is it full, or is it nearly full? Okay. I'm just gonna stand here. Oh, oh man. Okay. Next one, is this full, nearly full, or empty? I've got a very wet foot. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Mrs. Coop's gonna need a mop in here. Yeah, quick shot. Right, and the final question.
Is this empty, nearly full or full? Well done, Foundation. Can't wait to have you all. Can't wait to. Can't wait to have you all in next week. See you later. Have a good weekend. Hey, you one. Let's get started on your retrieval this week. Question number one. If a Christian family, if a Christian family have a new baby, what do we do to welcome that Christian baby into the family? What do Christians do to, what celebration do they have to welcome a new baby into the family? Write it down for me, please. Question number two. I've got three doubling questions. Question number two. Number two. What's double eight, double five, and double six? Write them down. Double eight, double five, and double six. Write them all down. Off you go. Question number three. We have some halving. Can you write down half of 20 and then half of eight? Half of 20, half of eight, go. Question number four. Now you've been talking about when children or adults, when people belong to a group. So question number four, can you write down one way that people can show they belong to a group. What can people do to show they belong to a group? For example, a football team. What would somebody in a football team do to show they belong to a group? Write it down, or, or any group. Just write down one thing, go. Question number five. What do we call the celebration? What do we call the event, the moment, when a new baby is born into a Sikh family. So not a Christian family, what is the Sikh celebration for a new baby? Write it down. And finally, question number six. Look at these two words. Which grapheme, which two letters, two letter grapheme, which grapheme have they both got in them? What have they got in common? Write it down. Well done, year one. Have an absolutely brilliant rest of the day and weekend. I'll see you all in school on Monday. Come on! Hey, year two. Let's do this. Question number one. Oh, you... Whoa, Mrs. Hunt has written these and she's gone right down the grammar route. I mean, this is a bit harsh, Mrs. Hunt. Yeah, anyway. Question number one. Could you please write down four, I don't know why it's not six, to be honest. Write down four nouns that you'd find in school. Four nouns. A noun is a type of word. Four nouns that you'd find in school. Go. Question number two. Can you please write down four adjectives that describe a kangaroo? Go. Question number three. Can you write down four verbs that you can do outside? Write them down, go. Question number four. What are the answers to these, please? Question number five. What is a marsupial? Now, I want a full sentence, year twos. So I want your best Stukely script handwriting, capital and full stop, capital letter. A marsupial is, full stop. 
A marsupial is, full stop. Go, write it down. And finally, question number six, what makes a living thing? This is quite a profound question. What makes a living thing? Write it down, go. Well done, year two. L really excited to see you all next week. See you then. Year three, let's get this party started. Question number one. Why are flowers brightly colored? Why are flowers brightly colored? Now listen, if I asked you to write a full sentence, you'd never fit it all in. So I'm gonna let you be a bit cheeky. You can start this with the word because, which I never ever normally let you do, but I want you to have enough space. So. I want you to pretend that you've already written flowers are brightly coloured, but then you start off in your books, number one, not a capital, it's not the start of a sentence. Lower, small b, because, why are flowers brightly coloured? You write, because, go. Question number two. Can you please write down as many different types of shading as you can? How many different types of shading can you think of? Go, write it down. Question number three. Now, I've got one metre, five centimetres, and then 109 centimetres. Okay, so I've got one metre, five, and then 109. Can you put something in the middle that tells me more than, less than, or equals? So one meter five and 109 centimeters. Is one of them more, one of them less, or are they equal? Write down that, those numbers, those numbers, and put a symbol in the middle, go. Question number four. What do Christians do at Lent? Full sentence, capital C. Christians, full stop. What do Christians do at Lent? You write down, capital C. Christians, full stop, go. Question number five. This is a French word, but the letters are all scrambled up. What French word is this? And finally, question number six. Which word tells us how the pollen from one part of a flower is taken to the female part of another flower? What is it called when the pollen goes from one part of a flower to the female part of another flower? Write down what that's called, try and spell it correctly, go. Well done year three, have a brilliant rest of the day and I cannot wait to see you all next week. Hello Year 4, let's do this. Question number one. In Latin, what does AM and PM stand for? Please write down AM and PM, what they stand for in Latin, go. Question number two. What are these in digital time? Half past ten, ten to four, five past six. Can you write them out in their digital clocks, please? Go. Question number three. What is the Spanish word for potato? Write down that you guys are obsessed with potatoes. Write down the Spanish word for potato. Go. Question number four. The word totter. What does the word totter mean? I want a full sentence. Yes, I do. Capital T. Totter means... Full stop. Go. Question number five. 
Can you please write down the word ascent and the word descent? Ascent and descent. How do you say that? Descent. Ascent and descent. Ascent and descent. I've forgotten how to say them. Ascent, descent. Write down, <laughs> sorry, write down ascent and descent and then tell me what they mean because I can't even say the words. Ascent and what it means, descent and what it means. Go. I'll tell you what it is. There are other words that mean something there. Um, what is it called when you've got two words? Anyway, um, just do it. Yeah, you'd be fine. And question number six. Which year did the Vikings invade Britain, I'm assuming? What was the year of the Viking invasion? Please write it down. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. See you all next week. Oh, hello. Year five? Okay. Yeah, good to see you. Question number one, I'm going to show you some fractions. So we've got four ninths and a third, two fifths and six fifteenths, eight twelfths and three quarters. Now, you'll notice I've put a little star in the middle of them. I don't want the star. I want you to write more than, less than, or equal to. Or should that be less than? Greater than, less than, or equal to. So I need a or equals. So write that down, but instead of those stars, put a different symbol in the middle, go. Question number two, what is surrealism? Oh, there's an arty question, capital S. Surrealism is, full stop. Surrealism is, full stop, go. Question number three, what does the term immiscible mean? Immiscible. I M M I S C I B L E. You need to write me a full sentence. Capital I. Immiscible means. Full stop. Go. Question number four. Can you please draw a diagram? Draw a diagram to show the alloy bronze. Now I've got no idea what this diagram is going to look like, but you should know. Draw me a diagram to show bronze. Go. Question number five, the highest capital city in the world. Can you write down the city and the country it's in? Both of them need a capital letter. The city and the country that are the highest in the world. Yeah, okay, go. And finally, question number six, can you spell these three words? Opportunity, enormous, according. One more time. Opportunity, enormous, according. Go. Have a great rest of the day, year five. Have a good weekend. See you all bright and early Monday morning. Going to be great. <laughs> Hello, year six. I've made, a, I've made an error, haven't I? I've come in with my book portrait, and we all know that year six... Love to go landscape. Yes, they do. Question number one. Oh, I need a bit of paper. Look at this. It's in grams, right? Can you please convert that to kilograms, please? So I want to see that in kilograms. Most importantly, can you then write how you did it? Go on, don't be shy. Question number two. Can you write down one descriptive sentence? Best you descript, please. No mucking about. One descriptive sentence to describe the Victorian setting that we've been looking at. One descriptive sentence to describe the Victorian setting we've been looking at. Go. Question number three. Why did the British declare war on Germany on the 3rd of September 1939? Write me a sentence to say why we declared war on Germany on the 3rd of September 1939. Question number four, who is Bump Man? Full sentence, capital B. Bump Man is, full stop, go. Question number five, in kick, in kick, who is the dragon?
Capital T, the dragon, capital D. The dragon is, full stop, go. And finally, question number six, what is a balanced diet? What is a balanced diet? Tell me, write it down, go. Well done, you six. Have a good rest of the day, have a good weekend. See you all on Monday, gonna be great. Oh, that was superb. Hopefully the last time we'll have to do retrieval remotely and in school. As I keep saying, next week, we're all gonna be here together and I will do my tour of the school, I'll do my wander around next week and see you all at some point taking part in retrieval. It's gonna feel great. Okay, uh, we've done all of our year groups. We're now gonna have a look at 36 seconds. Yes, you've all worked it out. Monday we did Who Will Be Triumphant and yes, we've all worked it out. It was highlight show. Wednesday, cheer, boost, song or silence. You've all worked it out. Yes, it was a highlight show. Today's 36 seconds is also gonna be a highlight show. Check this out. You've only got 36 seconds, so that's what we're calling this test. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to beat the others and become the best. You've only got 36 seconds, so that's what we're calling this test. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to beat the others and become the best. Hello everybody, and welcome to the first ever episode of 36 Second this week. We go play bingo, yes we are. This week, I gave a ball of blue tack to people. And I said, you've got 36 seconds to make a dog out of that blue tack. Four people have 36 seconds to write down as much as they can about Evil Knievel. I'm gonna hide it somewhere in the corner of the room. I'm gonna give four people 36 seconds to write down as many numbers as they can. You've only got 27 seconds to hunt for the 50p. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to find it and put it on your knee. It's you've only got 36 seconds to make the dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand it up or lay it on his back. You've only got 36 seconds to write a load of numbers out. You've only got nine seconds to do some knowledge retrieval. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, start from number one of that, there is no doubt. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to tell me all about evil can evil. And stop. Where is it? Didn't think about this in the table. Oh! You've only got 18 seconds to make a dog out of blue tack. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to stand up and lay a dog's back. Hey, oh, you've only got 9 seconds to sort the finger balls right out. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, do as many as you can and give a shout and stop! First place, Ben, well done. Let's give them all a 36, oh no, it's not gonna last 36 seconds. Let's give them all a 36 second pretend round of applause. Well done, everybody. <laughs> Chef Richard is our winner. Let's give him a big round of applause. You've only got 36 seconds, so that's what we're calling this test. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to beat the others and become the best. You've only got 36 seconds, so that's what we're calling this test. And you've got to try, I really don't know why, to beat the others and become the best. Oh, we might have only had a few weeks of, of 36 seconds, but so many great memories. Next week we'll be back on it, it's gonna be fantastic. Okay, time to finish off with some shout outs and then it's most important 60 seconds. Right, first of all, no birthdays today, but da, 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 happy birthday to uh, Mickey in year four. It's your birthday, Mickey, tomorrow. Have a great day, my man. Uh, and that's it. That's the only Stukely birthday at the weekend. Have a great time, Mickey. Enjoy with family. Uh, tell me about it next week when I see you. And we've got a birthday on Monday, which I'll announce on Monday. What a welcome back to school that is. And then it looks like, oh crikey, we've got quite a few coming up. 
it's going to be good. Okay, everyone, uh, one more shout out. And that shout out is not to children or families, although you've had a lot of shout outs. Remember, families, you've done an incredible job remotely and children, you too. But I am going to shout out to teachers because over the last year and, and all the staff at school, everyone who works at Stukeley and all over the world, teachers and schools, come on. Teachers and people in school have had to change their plans a lot over the last few months. Lots of children in, some children in. Uh, this type of workbook, that type of workbook. And again, today and this weekend and this week, we've been changing the school building around again. Mrs. Cooper and all of the team in school have been working hard and we're getting the whole school, the whole building ready for Monday when you're all coming back. And it's not easy, it's not simple. Uh, so thank you to everyone that works at school for doing that. Um, in the most important 60 seconds in a moment, I'm gonna tell you about Monday. So make sure you hang on for the next few seconds, yeah? I'll see you on the other side of this wonderful little song. The most important 60 seconds are coming up now. The most important 60 seconds are coming up now. Oh, hang on, we're supposed to be by the board. <laughs> I'm going to miss this. Here we go. Right, everyone. Uh, we're back to school. We're back to school uh, on Monday. I'm not sure if you realised. Monday the 8th. Uh, practice your pop at at home if you've not been doing it. Uh, don't forget we've got loads of things to look forward to. Uh, and your families have all got the encyclopedia and the standard. The Stukely standard's out today and that will have more information. Not too much, but hey, we're a busy school. There's going to be lots going on, families. Come on. Anyway. The most important 60 seconds today is get yourselves ready for Monday. Have you got your school uniform ready? Are you ready to look stupidly smart? Have you got your reading books ready? Have you got your learning logs ready? Have you got your school bag ready? Any AR books you've got at home, if you've got loads of school books at home, bring them in. We want to see them. Have you ordered your lunch? Have you got a packed lunch? Water bottle. Think about getting everything ready. It's all in the encyclopedia. To help you, I'm going to make a video. We're going to make a video as a school, and that video is probably going to go out tomorrow. I know it's Saturday, but hey, do you want to come back to school or not? Come on! Tomorrow we're going to be sending out a video, and all that video is going to be is a welcome back to Stukely video. We'll take a quick video of the classroom so you can see what's going on. A few reminders, it's not going to be very long, it's not going to be a spectacular video, I mean none of them are really, but it's just going to be a welcome back. So check out the Twitter tomorrow and the YouTube, we'll post a welcome back video and I cannot wait to see you all coming through the gates at 20 to 9, quarter to 9, 10 to 9, you've all got your different times, have a good weekend.